Now, ladies and gentlemen, Counter-Strike Global Offensive case investing. A majority of people investing into CSGO would most likely say case investing is the fastest way to ROI and the fastest way to make profit inside of Counter-Strike in the shortest amount of time possible, at least nowadays anyway. A few years ago, trading and buying and selling skins, especially before that trade hold with stickers as well, was actually very, very profitable. It still still is today, but cases are something that's very, very small. They're very liquidated. There's a lot of them on the market, a lot of different kinds. And with cases coming out every single year very, very quickly, we're getting more and more cases added to the primary and non-active dropping pool inside of CS. So your chances of getting them in the end of a game are very, very slim to none. And I think going into the future, this could really, really change the atmosphere with CS investing. And I think if CSGO investing in general becomes more mainstream than it already is, because this has blown up a lot in the past two years, I think we could see cases at the very front of that and with that obviously being at the front how much longer will cases be as profitable as they are right now i mean just this past year we've seen a lot of instances since like obviously the danger zone case was released and then three years later as of right now it's moved to the non-active drop pool there's a million of them on steam as of right now right that's something people have to remember things weren't always like this these cases weren't always like this especially like the prisma cases as of right now they're not looking like the greatest long-term hold even though they are now i hear all this stuff all the time people talking about guaranteed profit with cases yes with most cases that is very very good and that's most likely to happen with every single case but these cases some individual ones like the danger zone and prisma ones some of these these cases have nothing really holding them down. And sure, you can make eight cents profit in three years time, but is it really worth investing into that? So in today's video, we're going to go over how cases are changing the CS investing scene, how CS investing is changing in general, how much longer will this last for, and how much longer is this guaranteed so profit supposed to be here for? I think that's a very big question. I think a lot of people are not answering or asking as of right now. And it seems to be cases that are dropping into the non-active dropping pool are not becoming the best cases of it like to invest in anymore inside of CS because you have so many other golden options that are already out of the primary drop pool. They're already very good and they're already decently expensive, but you can afford quite a few of them and most likely make a faster profit on those than anything else. But how much longer will you be able to do that for? That's what we'll be discussing in today's CSGO commentary. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Take off your socks, crack open a cold one, and enjoy the commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about first how cases are really changing the investing scene inside of Counter-Strike Global Offensive because I would say it hasn't always been like this. Cases were never so Something people looked at as an investment until recently. I mean, a lot of people anyway used to consider cases kind of just junk in their inventory. Nowadays, I mean, players, especially who haven't played in a few years, they're coming back and seeing $40, $50, up to $100, $150, depending on how much they played and how many cases they had in their inventory, in their inventory, worth of real life money they could sell those for. Like they have glove cases, breakout cases, Enix cases, which are now reaching a dollar, which is just absolutely crazy. And these always never were used to be like this. It used to be three and four cents, just like every other case inside the game. I think things are changing now though, where these things are becoming more expensive and looked at as a very good investment for a lot of people's eyes. People aren't taking into effect how many people are playing the game. And I know what people are gonna say to that is, well, we're getting more people that are open cases as well as play the game, which is fair. And that is fair, yes. I think there's gonna be more people that outweigh the people that are gonna want to open the cases in the future. Like right now, we're running into a lot of instances where we have an operation and then right after we get a case, at least the past two operations where it has the same knives over and over again in the next case. So unless that operation case has anything good in it, similar to the M4 Venice Prince stream in the Broken Fang case, that deeming the next case or essentially the operation case previously to the new one coming out pointless and that's kind of what's happening in the riptide case this case the only reason it's gone up recently is because it obviously has the same knives as dreams and nightmares the new finishes for the butterfly knives like the autotronic the gamma doppler and whatnot which is really really awesome it's a dollar fifty to unbox it in the dreams and nightmares case which is not the best case in the game and it's only 60 cents if you're going for those knives which that would be the only reason you'd most likely be opening that case for nowadays in the Operation Riptide cases to get those new knives. And it's almost a whole 80 to almost a dollar cheaper to unbox it, which is just crazy. And with more people playing the game, we're gonna get more drops every week for CSGO with these new cases, which is just absolutely crazy. I think we could see some similar effects what we saw with stickers a few years ago. I mean, sticker investing into majors used to be very, very profitable. Not so much anymore, at least not as it much as it used to be, like Catavite 2019, I would say it was the last really, really good investment into stickers in my personal opinion. Others might say Berlin 2019 was a very good investment for them. Others might say Face It was the last major where they made some good profit on stickers, which I think those are also really good as well and were great. But I think Katowice just stands out better amongst those other stickers and those sticker capsules just because people liked them more and there was more stuff to like about that year specifically for stickers. Because stickers are so much different and you can actually buy stickers with your own money rather than cases, 
you actually have to get them from in-game drops, I think they're going to be a little different. I think if someone had the opportunity to buy cases, it would completely ruin the CSGO investing scene, especially for cases, which Valve does not care about us, especially us investors for cases and just investing in general. They like that we probably talk about their skins, talked about their economy, talk about their game, but they don't really care that we invested hundreds of thousands, if not millions for some of us into these specific items, especially cases. And kind of going into the next fact, investing is kind of changing for cases anyway in the next few years. In my personal opinion, we're probably going to see that. I think it's going to be harder to ROI and harder to make money in a very slim or short period of time considered other years, right? We look at Danger Zone right now, or even Prismal, or the CS20 case. The CS20 case has its own knives that are very specific. Specific. Yet those knives specifically aren't the most beloved skins or knives specifically in that case, but the case has gone into 16 cents. There's some people on YouTube that predicted this case would go to a dollar. I don't really blame them, honestly, at that given point in time. This case was blowing up. Everyone seemed to really like the case. And then over time, people just didn't really like the knives. But I think we could see something in the future, though, where we have a new case that comes out. It has newer knives. Maybe Valve has it. It's its own one time thing. We don't see those knives ever again. And when I talk about how investing is changing, I don't necessarily think it's going to happen to the older cases. I think it's just only going to happen to the newer cases going forward into the future. It's not really helping that Valve's putting out, you know, up to four to six cases in a year. That's not really helping either with operation skins. Let me also have souvenir packages. That's just a lot of stuff for people to unbox and people to buy. If, people, if Valve is going to drop this many cases in the year, I think some cases are fine to just be the one-off garbage case. I'm not saying we need a case like that, for example, the Snakebite case, but even that case has something going for it. It's a cheaper alternative to the Broken Fang case for unboxing the Broken Fang gloves. I think a case should have at least one crutch item in it for you to try and get, like the m 4 s Print Stream or an AK Vulcan situation where that's only unbox and obtained through one case. And that deeming that case very, very rare and hard to unbox because it is so expensive behind that paywall. And now, obviously, we are reaching newer all-time highs with player numbers as of right now inside of CSGO. And it seems to be during Chinese New Year here with just ending under a week now, people are unboxing cases faster than we're obtaining them with the Dreams and Nightmares case being out as of recently, which is going to be very, very interesting for the future as well. We have seen this in the past, the past year or so, where a new case comes out and it's very, very high in price, but I wouldn't say we've seen anything like this as of recently inside of CS for a long time, where a case is $1.50 almost two or three weeks after it's been released, which is just kind of crazy to think about. Obviously that and the Reptide case are eventually gonna fall in price. What are you guys' thoughts on that down in the comments? And how much longer do you guys think we would have four case investments in CS for the newer cases anyway? My prediction is the next four cases, maybe four or five, possibly six to eight, Cases we receive in the next two or three plus years inside of CS, those might be, depending on how much longer this game lasts, could be the last profitable cases, could be even less than that. I think this would only really be the case if Valve decided not to add new options to cases, like they would only have one in particular item. Like, for example, if we take this Snake Bite case for what it's worth and we throw that out there or remove something like the Slate from that case and put something else like a Gun of the Garbage AK in there and we take out the golds and just put regular knives in there like any other case, like let's just say some of the newer knives like from the Danger Zone case, no one's going to want that. And that's what I think could happen in the future if we keep releasing newer cases. They're not going to be able to release newer knives all of the time or be able to reuse knives. It's going to devalue older cases. So they might have to just release something new and keep releasing it over and over again. But for that to happen, once again, since this is kind of a theory and just like a commentary, that's kind of the whole point of the video. But for that to happen, that would take a lot, meaning that they'd have to release garbage continuously over and over again and for people to eventually realize that and not buy these cases for the future. Meaning when those go into the inactive drop pool, we could see an ROI, not possibly take over four plus years for that. Like the danger zone case as of right now, it really has nothing going for it, from my opinion, in the future. People thought the same thing with Prisma. People thought this was a great investment. Sure, you can make eight cents profit if it goes up for a little spike in a matter of just a year's time, but is that worth it? For some people, it is. People like to play it safe. I would say those type of items are the new sticker investments people made a few years back, where investing, you know, $200 into the danger zone case for some people when they were at three cents is better. And I would say it's better than that for stickers anyway nowadays, considering Stockholm and PGL major stuff going forward into the future of the next major up in May. Also with RMR being out, it's a lot more safer profit for a lot of people because stickers nowadays aren't really guaranteed either. The next stickers could be 10 times better than the PGL ones. And if that happens, well, these stickers are eventually going to tank up in price. It's kind of what happened to some other stickers when this released Stockholm. But the old bread and butter for case investing, investing in general forced CS, the original cases, like the glove case, the breakout case, 
the Phoenix case, the Bravo case, the Hydra case, the main crutch items for CS investing are cases nowadays. For anyway, me, I invest heavily into new cases. And there's some other cases that are starting to come up as well, like the Revolver case. A lot of people have been talking about it recently here on YouTube, which is awesome. I think the case deserves a really, really good spot. I hope they buff the R8 in the future, because if they do, you know, we're going to be 10 times richer, which would be very cool as well with that R8 fade, probably going to like 30, 40 bucks a piece one day anyway but that might not ever happen. And things like the glove case, I think are always going to be rare, no matter what. These older items are just gonna keep going up in price. We're going to see dips, but I even think that's going to eventually stop where we see dips with things like the glove case, for example. Like just a few weeks ago, we saw this thing go to 80 to 90 cents, which was very, very low. And it kind of scared me for a little bit. I was like, what the hell is going on? Why are these things so low on the steam market during a little bit of a crash that was helping with the crypto crash when that was happening, Bitcoin and Ethereum pretty much got cut in half. And with the items, on steam like the glove case got cut in half but i think in the next going and ongoing future we're going to see that cut in half to a quarter of what that half was before if that makes any sense so instead of going to 80 to 90 cents in the future i do think these things could go to instead of 80 90 cents to a dollar 30 for their all-time low when their regular price is like two dollars and i do think the older cases are going to be gold mines for investments into the future because they're going to be things we're going to want in the next few years for people to unbox i don't think they're going to be like katavice capsules but i definitely think they're going to be up there with really really good investments over the course of the next few years and they're very good quick flips for a lot of people including myself like the glove case the revolver case has been very great for people as well this thing was like three to four cents now it's 15 16 cents gonna keep going up from here and you can buy these things low on third-party websites and steam sell them on steam as other third-party websites in general to buy more items or cash out in general let me know what you guys think and what your thoughts are of this situation down below hope you guys enjoyed today's commentary of case investing once again this wasn't really for investment advice this is just more of a commentary myself to kind of take a look at the future for case investing because i kind of wanted to make a video a few years ago talking about cases and talking about stickers how they might be very similar or they might be changing a little bit in the future and it looks like they are so do you guys think the player base is going to affect case investing with how many people are going to be able to buy these things how many people are going to be able to box these things in the future do you think valve in the future would possibly add a paywall behind cases not including opening the case with a key but i mean you can buy these cases kind of like how you can with this operation but that mean every case would technically be like an operation based case and these cases would pretty much be pointless of an investment in the future because they'd be like rmr and all these other cases that are out as of right now or stickers anyway let me know what you guys think have a good day stay positive stay sexy i'm out guys